there's some huge differences between social media and Google pay-per-click marketing that's critical for realtors to be aware of. Not having the information we're about to share literally can be the difference between success and failure as a realtor. Hi, my name is Kevin Flaherty. I'm a real estate broker with eXp. You've quickly reached icon status and have three decades of experience. I currently run a real estate team and host a group of realtors where we share cutting edge tools, strategies, and best practices to help agents, teams, and brokerages grow their business. As a realtor, where you do your advertising should depend a great deal on your follow-up horsepower. Here's what I mean by that. Social media advertising relies on something called a reticular activator. That's a fancy way of saying that people will not really even see your ad, even if it's put right in front of them, unless they're at the very beginning, just starting to maybe think about making a move. Now you say, well, Kevin, isn't that exactly what I want? Not exactly. So to understand this a little better, the reticular activator is a system in our brain that prevents overwhelm by filtering out information that it believes isn't relevant to you. Without the system, we literally go into a coma. So it's very powerful and very important. The information your supercomputer brain filters has to do with your beliefs, which is an important part of success in general. But today we're speaking about advertising and why that's important for you to consider. Essentially, when you run social media ads, we're simply placing information in front of a defined group of people, along with all the other information in those locations. The challenge with this is basically the leads we get for the most part are people who are at the very beginning of just starting to think about maybe buying or selling. So what we get are leads that require long-term nurturing that may eventually lead to a transaction. I know this because I've spent millions and millions of dollars of real estate advertising, and I have my own group of inside sales agents that work seven days a week, night and day, responding and following up and nurturing leads. Unless you have someone dedicated to helping you follow the leads, you need to focus on the highest quality leads that are closer to buying and selling today. Here's how you do that. With Google pay-per-click leads, your prospect, type in keyword or search term related to buying or selling real estate, they then read your ad, and then they click on your ad. This lead is generally much closer to making a move and for the most part, much higher quality lead. Now I'm not saying, you know, don't do any social media advertising, but when it comes to allocating your budget, this is a big deal and something you should really keep in mind. As an individual realtor or even a small team, it's easy to enter into an oscillating beast or famine roller coaster, which is never any fun. Meaning you call back your leads, you work your leads, and you start getting busy. But then when you start getting busy, you have no horsepower to be calling back or nurturing your leads. But then eventually you're not busy again, and you start calling back the leads and you do the thing that led to you getting busy in the first place. And we end up with this feast famine roller coaster. And it's very common in the real estate industry. So if you got value from this tip, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.